Okay. In Norway, one of the most interesting findings is how we see how that Norwegian children are sophisticated, advanced online users and how they use their online time for a wide range of things, uh, social activities, democratic activities, organizing themselves and seeking out uh, content and news. Um, we also see that Norwegian children live most of their lives online to wide respect. They ha have friends online but they also make themselves very vulnerable online. So any effort in terms of making children safe online has to take uh, on these facts the sophisticated yet vulnerable user. We know that a lot of parents are worried about online use. Uh, for parents in Norway typically uh, the issue of time, how much time is spent online is a worry. Other worries include different types of content, children accessing pornography or making contact with uh, strangers. What I would say to those parents is that most risks online are risks created by other children. What we found, found to be one of the most harmful online risks is digital bullying, uh, cyberbullying, some will say. And this really um, creates a problem not only for those being bullied, but we see also vulnerable children in those bullying others. Also, what children themselves tell us is that news-related content is a concern. Children get upset and worried about ch what they see online um, that they can associate to their real lives. War, famine, cruelty towards animals, children, other children that suffer across the world. This is information that typically will have a news-related setting, but they, not all children will have the context to, re to relate this to their own lives.